The house crow, which is an alien species, it's native to India, um, but was introduced into East Africa through Zanzibar in about 1890, so 130 years ago. Since then it's spread up and down the East African coast and it does very, very well, particularly when there's lots of, of rubbish, garbage thrown out, uh, food waste. And they've just exploded in numbers. And that's become a big challenge, not only to the economy, because they have quite a negative impact on um, tourism, especially here where it's hot, all the, the dining rooms of the, the hotels are open and so the birds can come in through the windows and they, or in the open areas where the verandas where people eat, they'll steal food off people's plates um, and off the tables where food is laid out. Small businesses, the little kiosks selling food on the sides of the roads, some of them had to close down because the crows just keep stealing the food and, and causing problems. For wildlife, and as we're talking about birds, uh, they can have a major impact on the, the numbers of natural indigenous birds we have here because they will raid nests, they will pull nests apart, eat the eggs, eat the chicks. To address this problem of the crows, um, we many years ago actually, 25 years ago, uh, when we first started Arosha here, uh, the crows were a problem that time and there was a man who was already working on controlling them using a very special poison called starlicide. It's a very specific poison that works very well for crows. It was designed in America to kill the European starling, hence the name starlicide. The bird uh, metabolizes, yani it uses all the poison up before it dies. So the corpse is actually safe. If another animal came and ate it, then it would have no problem. We've only been poisoning since uh, August and we've now already killed almost 5,000 crows in Malindi, Watamu and Kilifi in Vipingo um, on north coast and we've got teams out there we've probably got almost 10 people now employed uh, in the different locations. We started focusing on the uh, major towns uh, because that's where we have the biggest number of crows and the main reason uh, we do the town ones is because by looking at the ecology and how the crows feed is uh, they feed in groups and they tend to follow each other. What we do is we identify a good site that has no traffic of humans and animals. For pre baiting you have to do it every day and requires some, a good amount of food. Uh, for example, a population of 100 crows might require uh, not less than 2 kgs of the bait. So we opt to, to, to use the offcuts and trimmings provided to us by the hotels. One, because uh, crows love meat. Two, uh, the offcuts uh, off and trimmings are easily available from the hotels. And three, it's cost effective. And how the crows work is um, they are kind of uh, communal. So they, they will attract each other and eventually you have a good big number on your bait. And this takes uh, between two to three weeks, uh, depending on a site and uh, most, most sites could uh, range from 100 to 300, 400 crows. When I first came in 88 there were very few. There was a big eradication program in the early 90s uh, which was very effective but then after that uh, with the uh, inability for people to get hold of the starlicide, side it just multiplied over the years. They come and scrounge food from tables of clients so clients are sitting there and having to share their table with a house crow, not nice. Um, we have to have people patrolling all the time with catapults which is obviously expensive.